stop of the day. Looks like just an organizer. It's one of the big ones too, so that's pretty good. Yeah, that's a good one. No cracks or nothing, we'll take it. So we're trying something a little different today. Uh, this is actually in the morning. We just dropped Lucas off to school. We normally hit this neighborhood up um, Sunday night, but we've decided to come out here Monday morning because we haven't been doing great in the evening. So figure we'll try it in the morning and see if we have better luck. Yeah, right there. Oh no, I don't see the remote. But we'll take it. So on the remote, Lauren thought she saw the remote, but it was just the cord wrapped around, which it did kind of look like the remote. <laughs> Pretty cool. I think that's a uh, old plasma, but it'd be okay. That's not going to be re for resale if it works. We're actually going to keep that um, for some retro video games so we can play those. And let's see what else we can find. Dang, there's a vacuum. Extra saucer, a maybe a play tent. That TV would be good for the video games too, but it's just so okay. so bulky. Oh god, yeah. <laughs> uh, we'll pass, I guess. Let me, let me get out and look at the tent. Yeah, it looks like just a lot of trash. Okay. a u-haul truck and lauren's looking at some stuff on the curb not nothing really exciting there was a couple of bags and there's something behind the trash can she's gonna check out so the last time that we came through this neighborhood it was like noon before trash came what you got huh So what I was saying about the trash coming kind of late through this neighborhood, you might see us pick, uh, go to a pile. 
and pass on a few things but like that shoe rack that shoe rack could have been a resale item but i mean it would have only probably got a dollar or two at a yard sale and yeah it was scrap metal but it would have been like 10 cents so this particular area is uh there's a lot of people that drive around through here there's actually we've ran into several pickers that are in this neighborhood so sometimes we leave stuff like that and give it a chance for somebody else to pick it up so as we drive around this last little area just curious on uh how everybody's doing after this hurricane that we had in uh the gulf kind of hit like south uh texas and louisiana and i'm not sure how far inland it went but i'm just curious on if anybody got any major damage and just how everybody's doing apparently it got pretty bad i know at one point they said that it was going to be an unsurvivable hurricane like one of the worst ones that we've seen since like the nine early 90s got a little bit of rain in our area but not much not much out here really yeah like like I said earlier this is the First time we've ever tried this in the morning. Just um, for some reason, this route just hasn't really paid off like it used to. Some of you guys have been watching this for a while. You know, we would go, we go pick, and we would fill this entire truck up. Sometimes twice. Yeah, we'd have to like strap things down and tie things up, and <clears throat> just seems like here the past. Um, I don't know, a few months, and I'm, I'm assuming that it has to do with the pandemic. We just haven't done good at all. Like today, you know, we got the, the TV and the organizer, which is fine. At least we found something. But. Not like we used to. So we figured we'd try it in the morning. Early. So I was also thinking maybe it was just too hot that people weren't really wanting to clean out their garages and stuff, you know, and with it being so hot. Which, I mean, that still could be part of it. The indexes are hitting about 112 down here. Yeah, every day about 100, in between like 105 and like 115 sometimes for the heat index. Hopefully, though, it's going to be cooling off pretty soon. Um, our leaves are starting to fall off the trees, so that's a good sign. What about you guys? How hot are y'all where you're at? I know I got a couple people that live in uh, Arizona that comment on the videos and snow last week in New Hampshire if you're from New Hampshire and you got snow already I envy you <laughs> but they get snow like eight months out of the year apparently it'd be nice right now is there anybody in here from Alaska or that lived in Alaska at one point because I'm wondering Texas it's it's always hot even like in the winter time you know sometimes it doesn't get it doesn't get real cold like it, it it does we'll get ice and stuff but it may last a month you know so I always see in Alaska you know it's always nice and, and how how often or how long out of the year is it cold out there we might I might move to Alaska no? Lauren's shaking her head, no. I don't like, I don't like a lot of the snow. Lauren doesn't do good with cold weather. Is that a moving pod? No, I don't like cold weather. I like fall. 
it'll be 110 degrees outside and I'll be sweating and dying in here and in the house and Lauren's under a cover. <laughs> I like the fall. You know what's weird though is that uh, we went to New Mexico. Um, it's been a year, year and a half. We went to New Mexico and um, it was it was during the summer and it was really hot. It was the it was like 105 there and you know it's the desert. It's kind of a dry heat. And we went to a spot, some of you guys probably saw the video, we went to this like uh, waterfall area and there was a there was mountains to, to hike and to climb and to you know just to to go explore. And I remember me and Lauren's dad hiked up a, a, a mountain. You know, it was a, I don't know, 1,500 feet or something like that. It was it was high. And as hot as it was, I barely broke a sweat. But I remember coming home to Texas and getting outside of the car to go pump gas and being drenched in sweat. What you got? Uh, whiteboard calendar. Oh, Lauren found a whiteboard calendar. all that off huh have made it back home and we already kind of like looked through that those bags I haven't like looked through anything but we got like all the trash that was in there and separated it and then this bag was all clothes there's some nice dresses in there <clears throat> there's a couple of prom dresses I guess that's what they are and little dresses and some shirts all women's clothes like businessy type stuff some like dress pants um, inside here was a bunch of jewelry and paperwork. Some pins. There was a one of those warmers, I guess like a wax warmer. I don't know if there was anything in here or not. No, just a jewelry box. So after we go through this, um, I'll, I'll let Lauren look through it because there's like it's probably just costume jewelry. But we'll let her go through it and then check all there's a bunch of gift cards in here too so we'll check all of those and then uh if there's anything like special or if there was anything on the gift cards i'll let you know um i picked this chair up off camera i believe it's just like a little lounge chair it looks like it's in decent shape let me open it up and see all right so before i even got it opened up i saw this <clears throat> that's pretty unfortunate but that's okay that happens and then of course the um, the whiteboard calendar. Lauren's gonna use this. We're gonna use this for our eBay. Um, make sure there's nothing personal written on it. I don't know. It's just all scribbles. But it's got the days of the month. So what we're gonna do is I've seen a lot of people do this on their YouTube for their eBay store. They do what they call a, a momentum board. So. You know, for the first day, they'll say that they uh, listed three items for $60. And then the next day, four items for $90. And then at the end of the week, they'll have listed, you know, 40 items for a potential of like $500. But before you do that, you make a goal of how much you, how many items you want to list and try to reach that goal or more. And then at the end of the month, you can kind of tally up how much you've got listed and what you should make for that month. If everything sells for the price that you have it listed for. 
So that could be kind of fun. I don't know what else she's got planned for it though, for the board. Hopefully she can clean it. I bet she can get all that off here. It's coming right off. So that's pretty cool. And then I think that's pretty much it. We got to test the, um, the the air filter. It's so dusty here. I mean, all of our dirt roads are just dirt roads. It's super dusty here. Oh yeah, there was a tent without any poles or stakes. But all of the roads around here are just dusty dirt roads. So it's really hard to breathe sometimes in the house, especially when the wind's blowing all crazy. So we'll probably have to change the filter or something on that thing, but we'll see. And then let's test that TV as well. Well, I was going to plug it up and then hit the power button so you guys could see if it came on or not. But as soon as I plugged it in, it came on. So, awesome sign. We're good on the TV. I do. Yeah, I'll show you guys where I'm gonna, what I'm going to do with that here in just a second. So, after further examination, this is actually a heater, like a space heater. And it's pretty nice. It, it's, it looks like it's never, it hasn't been used for very long, if used, you know, much at all. But when you turn it on, it throws off a error code. And when I looked up the error code, it said something about um, the fan being blocked or the airway being blocked. So I took it apart and I blew it out with my uh, with my air hose, and there was not even much dust. So the 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 fan, the motor and stuff, it free it spins freely. Um, I couldn't find any kind of blockage or anything, so it may be a fuse for the for the fan motor. I'm I, my eyesight's terrible, as a lot of you guys know. So we're gonna give this over to Lauren's dad, and he's gonna look at it for us and see if he can figure anything out about it. Because if it works, it'd be pretty cool. It's got these little spots. Um, apparently, it's safe enough that you can hang it on your wall. It's it's actually got like a you know from the manufacturer spots to uh to hang it up on, on a wall i think it would be good for a bathroom or something but i don't know um i've never really like resold space heaters i've got a few of them out in the garage and if they work and they're clean and stuff i guess it's not a problem but i know um a long time ago i found one that was really really nice it was like a 250 dollar uh, space heater and it worked every it worked fine and you know I, I didn't think anything about it i just said you know that's a pretty nice heater we don't need it maybe somebody we could sell it on marketplace and i got lit up in the comments pretty bad about people saying not to resell space heaters so i don't know i mean if it works fine and what's your opinion i don't know i'm just i don't know like i said a lot of people really was uh was not on board with the resale of space heaters which i can understand that these things do cause a lot of problems a lot of fires are from space heaters so in the future if this thing actually kinds of turns out to to work properly we'll let you know and here you go guys here's what we're doing with the tv so a lot of you guys have seen it but i've got a retro video game collection that i've started um that didn't take long i, I haven't played <laughs> this thing in 20 something years okay so right now we got the uh, super nintendo hooked up to the tv and as you can see it works perfectly this could not have been a better tv for the game collection um this is awesome um really really cool kind of see it's a little bit dark in here to show you all the all what we've got going on but i got nintendo 64s a couple of game cubes several playstation 2 i just got a, a bunch of stuff still always looking for things um this is just awesome we're gonna have a lot of fun playing some uh some old school mario games mario and i got some donkey kong and all kinds of stuff so awesome that the tv worked and even better that 
And the graphics aren't that bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of times when you find you hook up a, a retro system like this up to a, a flat screen TV, it just looks weird. Like it looks kind of bad. Like the it's real big. I don't know. It's just it's not it's not great. Get the mushroom. Get the mushroom. You missed it. But this is an older flat screen, so it's just perfect. It's a HD something or other. What's the brand on that thing? I don't even say right. Oh wait. Magnum box. Cool. All right, guys. That's gonna do it. Um, we're gonna go play some video games, I guess. Maybe we're supposed to be working on eBay, but doesn't look like we're gonna be getting much eBay in down now, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Duck, go, push down. Anyway, appreciate you guys hanging out with us. I uh, hope you had fun. No, we're about to. See y'all next time.